Okay. So multiplying and dividing, Ooh. not negative numbers, not just numbers. So let me add negative here. I will add the entire form. Negative numbers. So negative numbers. Yeah, this one comes back here. So the first one, we still must remember our rule, which is minus times minus must be plus, okay? Okay. And plus times plus is also plus. It's also plus. But other situations will be negative. Like negative and positive, that is negative and positive and negative, that's also negative. So check the first number. They are positive, yeah. and, they are positive and negative, right? right? Yeah. So this should be minus uh, positive 3 times negative 4, okay? Okay. So we know that our answer must be negative, and 3 times 4 is 12. Then the second one, we have 15, negative 15, divided by negative 3. This time around, 15 will divide 3 and give us 5. Then negative will divide negative and give us a positive. So negative has cancelled negative. There's no sign here again, okay? I mean, the sign is positive. So we have 12 divided by negative 4. The, the one on the left does not have any negative, so the negative will remain, okay? Okay. So we have 12 divided by 4, that is 3, so negative 3. And because this is positive, so negative remains. Then B, we have 2 times negative 8. So this is going to be, because this is positive, so we have negative 16. Then we have <coughs> minus 72 <coughs> yeah, So minus 72 divided by minus 6. Again, minus cancel minus and 72 divided by 6 is 12. Then F. Hmm. The, those are your visitors making noise, right? Yeah. They might get that. They're just enjoying themselves. Yeah. So F, we have 56 divided by negative 8. So 56 doesn't have a negative, so the negative remains. Then we have 56 divided by 8 to be 7. And the next one, we have G. We have negative 16 times the negative 3. So negative times negative is positive sign. Then 16 times 3 is 48. Then option H, we have negative 81 divided by negative 9. So negative cancels negative, okay? Okay. Negative cancels negative. So we have positive as our final. So 81 over 9 is 9. Positive. Then, um, okay, then the next one, option I, we have negative 13 times negative 3. So we have negative times negative is positive, okay? okay. Then 13 times 3 is 39. Then option J, we have 7 times a negative 6. So 7 times 6 is 42, but there's a negative on one side, which remains. And option K, we have 45 divided by negative 9. So here, negative remains because it's only one to have negative. And 45 divided by 9 is 5. And option L, which is the last one, we have minus 34 times 2. So because only one has a minus, it remains, then 
we have 34 times 2 to be 68. So I'll give you some time to write this down, and I'll give you some questions to try, okay? Exactly. Okay.